I learned that uh, a loving community is the most healing um, uh, factor in, in our lives. That, um, um, that the most needed thing that we need is love. We need to know that we belong, that we have a place, that people miss us if we're not around. Father Joe McDonald is in charge of these borders. He has been living with them since 1975, and there are some who have lived with him for 20 years. In the early 70s, with the cleaning out of mental hospitals, he saw his ministry developing into bringing the healing presence of Christ into the marketplace. He started off with drop-in resource centers, which later developed into homes. When you work with people with chronic mental illness, the transformation is not uh, um, spectacular, and I don't think you should expect it. The happiness of the person with themselves, uh, with their peers, and with, with society, and you know, I think that's all one needs to have, and I think that's maybe the most important thing anyway. I mean, we're burning ourselves out to a nine-to-five job and, you know, sweating and so on. Um, maybe we're the ones that are a little off-key. Uh, the people who are, you know, kind of reveling and just being themselves and uh, without all this other stuff, maybe they're further ahead. I met Irene O'Malley, a resident of 12 years, who suffered from schizophrenia in her fourth year of university. After searching for psychiatric places in the Catholic Church, she met Father Joe MacDonald. She moved in in 1992 and has been there ever since. Well, it was an accepting atmosphere. Father Joe's very accepting, I find, you know. Uh, well, I like God and I like to, you know, prepare myself for heaven too, so that's why. I thought if I stayed away to in another place or something, I would probably drift away from the church too, I was thinking that too. The people are nice. I know, it's just an atmosphere of nurturing and, and help, you know? You never stay down too long. Their days start off with the morning mass. After breakfast in their separate residences, they go off to do volunteer work, to study, or to learn life skills. All the residents share an evening meal together after the evening prayer. I'd like to pray for Jeannie and we're celebrating her birthday today that she have many more happy years ahead and for <clears throat> Ian and Peter. Once a week they have a support group meeting but every day they find time to be together and relax. I think to uh, to meet the, the needs of, of people who would not generally have them met in, in our normal society because we tend to write off uh, people who are chronically mentally sick. We, um, uh, to meet their needs and to provide um, um, an environment of, of, uh, of hope and compassion, um, I think it's life-giving.